Today, Montgomery County Council will discuss a proposal to raise the minimum wage for tipped workers. We've already seen a similar proposal in Prince George's County and our Randy Ayala is in Silver Spring this morning looking at the plan a little closely and also Randy curious if we could see similar legislation in Virginia. Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Annie. That's the question, right? So this push to increase wages for tip workers has really been gaining momentum, even though some are hoping it loses steam right now, though it is on the table for Montgomery County uh, County Council holding a public hearing at 130 today. Uh, Council member Will Juwando has increased or has introduced a plan rather to increase the tipped minimum wage $2 a year until it hits the statewide minimum wage of around 15 to 16 bucks. Now, under this proposal, the county would eliminate the tip credit system that's in place right now. But there's been talk over whether or not this would lead to servers making less money. And Anna, you mentioned this uh, just last week. Prince George's County debated this very same thing. And after hours of testimony and protests, decided to table the idea for now. So let's talk across the bridge. It's unlikely this type of legislation would make its way to Virginia. We spoke with Mike Saltzman. He's the executive director of the Employment Policies Institute. It's a Virginia nonprofit working with the restaurant industry to try and stop tipped wage increases. He said it's unlikely Virginia would pass this wage, pass this rather, because wage rates in the Commonwealth are controlled by the state legislature and not local government. I think the future of this is really going to be determined in many ways by what happens in Montgomery and Prince George County in the next few weeks. DC is an experiment on what happens when you do this. I would say it's a failed experiment. It's not working out well for the workers. All right, he mentioned D.C. because D.C. joined Flagstaff, Arizona and Chicago as the most recent cities to eliminate sub minimum wage pay for tip workers. So some servers believe they would lose tips under this new system if customers are forced to pay surcharges to help offset uh, those pay increases. They want things to say the same. So there's a rally going on at 11 o'clock this morning in Rockville for those against this new proposal. Servers, local bartenders are all attending who are against this idea. The idea they plan to march to the county council starting at noon, and that meeting gets underway at 1:30. Uh, by the way, the Maryland state legislature voted down the same idea earlier this year. So this is just one of those things. We'll have to uh, see what happens during this public hearing. Again, that's at 1:30, and we'll be sure to let you know what comes out of it. Annie. Right. All right, Randy. Thank you so much.